<clears throat> okay, I believe we're live. I had several people email message me saying they hope that during this crazy time in the world that I'll be able to stream more and give them something to do and and uh, maybe have some laughs. So that's what I'm attempting to do tonight. So kind of a last minute stream as per usual, but uh, we'll get started here when I see some people in chat. We'll make sure my um, all systems go here. Let me check what's going on. Zoom out a little bit. <clears throat> hey, Joan. Sorry about that last minute notice. <laughs> Uh, plus, my I was using my microphone and spelled your name wrong when it dictated it. So, um, these are some of the jelly prints we did last time. That's the new pictographs there. This was done with some assessed sprays. I love these. Actually, before I tear this one up, I think I'm going to scan it. Maybe I'll put that to the side and do that later. And I was thinking about doing a collage, maybe with this one. I want to start. Hey, Tam. Eileen. Hello. I'm just looking at these jelly prints from the other day. what I might want to use. This one's just kind of bland enough for a background. Yeah, I kind of like this one too. <coughs> All right, pile up here. So I think I'm going to do another collage in the, the bigger journal. Hey, Jackie. Hey, neighbor Jean. I'm going to make a copy of this one real quick, though. I might use this for the background. I love how this calligraphy paper tears. Just using a ruler like this. It's really... It's really nice. the sperm page. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> I don't know. I might add a little something. I do think it needs a little something. And actually, when I was down here, I was shipping out some Etsy orders. Um, and I looked and I was grabbing a pen and then I found this and I thought, oh, maybe we'll add a little. Hey, Glennis. Hey, Debbie. How are you? Good to see you here. Hey, Pat. Dr. Dot. Hello. I was thinking maybe I'd use this. And it's it's uh, the um, embossing medium in a pen. And maybe try to throw a little something up here or somewhere down here. I got to think about it. I'll leave it out. Sorry. I remember to think about it. <laughs> hey, Brock. So... Actually, I'll leave that so it's not all white. I want to take a copy of this one real quick. I might just slap this down and use it for a back, back, oops, background. I ripped the lid off my copier. Yeah. Maybe I'll... Um... Hang on, my <laughs> can you hear my my mouth stopped as my brain had to click in and looking at the printer. <laughs> I'm gonna scan this real quick and then print it on onion skin and we shall press on. Maybe I'll use the onion skin version as the when I use as a background. Let's see how that goes. All right, that's gonna take a second. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. And I, I like how this, 
when I put the black one in, I wasn't sure where this was going to go. But this is my brayer off section from the other night. I might whip up some water tape out of this while we're at it. But see, it's pretty cool when you really see it. And it's got a little bit of the ghosting of that wooden stamp in there. See the real faint like in there. We'll see. Just might do it. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Dar. I had several people send me messages saying, could you please stream more during this crazy time to give us something to do while we're kind of housebound and distract us? So I'm going to try to do that when I can. All these pages are getting tweaked up here. Actually, I think I'm going to turn that over because they always bug me. Yeah, you can see the stamp in it. So I think I'll... Um, I think I will, um, I'll do something over this embossing maybe. I don't know. We'll do something over that. Um, and then um, make some washi out of it. And this, I'm going to get this out of here because this, this right here is driving me crazy under there. Because I, no matter what I do, I keep hitting the ridge of that underneath of there. You got some messages like that too, Jackie? I know. So, hey, Jim. Welcome. That's my bud, Jim, from Napa. Good to see you here. Oh, hi, Diane. Oh, welcome. Good. I'm glad you've made it again. Yeah, we've been working from home this week, and I'm assuming it's probably going to be like that for some time to come, to be honest. All right, let me go shove my onion. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, it worked. Okay. Um, now I'm going to print it on. Now it's scanning again. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. I guess we're going to do that. Oh. Actually, you know what? Maybe I had to push that last button. Who knows? My multitasking abilities are getting few and far between these days. I'll be right back. I can't see chat from here. Good Lord. So much for that smooth start. <laughs> I'm going to... I also, if I get this page done in a reasonable amount of time, I need to make some more ATCs for my um, Etsy orders. So, if you guys haven't seen me do that before, I usually use a 11 by 15 piece of watercolor paper and collage on that. Kellyanne, hi, that's a new name. Oh, your second time here. Good, welcome back. Glad you could join us. Is Colleen here? There, there she is. Hey, Colleen. Oh, thank you, Glennis. I'm happy to do, do it when I can, for sure. And since there's nothing else really to do, <laughs> uh, I um, have plenty of time to do it. In the evenings, of course, because I'm working from home. So all day I'm online working, but we're not going out to meet friends for dinner or all that kind of good stuff. I still go into my mom's a couple times a week to keep her stocked up and there we go. Well, the the original is a lot more pretty and colorful than this one is. Hmm. Maybe I won't use that one right now. Maybe I'll just use the original since I know how to duplicate it. 
What if I start out with that as a background? There's Gala. Oh, I almost fell off my arm on my chair. Hey, Kiki. <laughs> Gala, he knucklehead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, let's see. Do I want to do that or do I want to use part of that? I wonder if I did something like that. I wonder if the wooden stamps, you can use them for embossing. Hey, Gail. Hey, Nana. Hey, Rachel. Huh. Hang on. Let me go on the, on the other side. <laughs> Dark side. It's not thunder. That's a big sheet of paper. I wonder, will that work with that? Let's see. Yeah, you know what? You know, I'm feeling a little something else going on here. Maybe, I love this paper. That's kind of... Kind of goes with some of the hues in there. Maybe I will uh -huh. I'm thinking about maybe taking a piece like this because i've never done that before so what the hell let's just do it and i want to come down i want some white space so let's just do that you think yes let's do that <laughs> what the hell we did it so Let's start with that for some reason. I don't know why. Just came back with ER Nook. Oh, thank goodness. A dry respiratory cough. Good Lord. Hey, CB. Hey, Jan. Welcome, ladies. Um, I don't even know if I want that little bit off of there. I think it's okay on there. All right. Let's start. Let's glue something down here. And figure out where we're going to go next, shall we? Did you make that paper? This one, Kath? No, this is from Loose Ends. Oh, here it is. Oh, it just says Made in India for Loose Ends. Um, I did not, but it is, um, I'm trying to remember. There was one grouping of paper that almost all the ones that I bought we're in that same named category on looseends.com. And it was something, uh, it was like um, something. Um, hey, Linda. Hi, Tara. So it was, um, oh my gosh, how do I want to say this? It was like, oh, a speakeasy. Speakeasy. I was thinking a bar. <laughs> but it was it, the group of the papers. Hi, Susan, was named. Um, speakeasy so that's where this one was and most of the other ones that i bought were in that say they just they just spoke to me they spoke easy to me <laughs> oh all right i'm gonna try to use up this that has no oh you know what i wonder if that's no good now we're about to find out i lost the cap good yet we're about to find out Feels a little extra draggy. <laughs> it's tacky. Oh, hell. Maybe 
too tacky. Let's see where that gets me. Let's just see where we go. I want some white space, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball her and slap her down right about there. Now this Jim. <laughs> hey, Rachel. Here's my buddy, Soul Rain. How are you? I am um, deciding what I'm going to do here, what my next maneuver is. I'm tapping. That means I'm thinking. I'm thinking about maybe, well, if I tear out the circles, I lose this cool backgroundy stuff. Maybe I just make that a square by filling in the other part of the triangle. Yeah, maybe. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Yes? Oh, shit. Oh, that's the piece I need, too. Ah, crap. Stop! Oh, my God. So much for that brilliant idea. That's okay. That's okay. I still have to trim this bad boy down. So I'm going to take some of that off anyway. Make a little piece of washi out of that. Uh, no, I didn't, Glennis. I used, um, I did Seth's, I did on my last video. You can go back and look at it, and it's pretty close to the end of the video. I took Seth's Isaac sprays that he just came out with, and I have the gold, the copper, the gold, the copper, and the ocean blue. And I spritzed them on my jelly plate course they beat up i brayered them and then i first put down a piece of resume paper and you can see it almost picked up all the blue and almost none of the metallics so then i went in and i put down this dragonfly glaze in a real thin coat from one of the color shifts not dragonfly dragon flash are you gonna focus see it's got spritz all over it spraying them the dragon flash in a thin layer and then pulled it on calligraphy paper and that's what i got if all the uh, mica in those sprays settled the gravity just made them settle on the plate and when i picked up the resume papers 100 percent cotton so it just sucked up all the wet right and left the metallics laying there and then i was able to pull them up with this i took a couple wood stamps and made impressions in it but look at all that gold that was left there um so I liked how they turned out. Hey, Janet. So let's see. I'm not worried about that because I can put something there to cover that up. Yes, I can. Oh, actually. Is that too funky? That might be not the right kind of funky thing to put there, but we'll keep it out. This is probably too much, right? I did that. That's a little that's a little crazy, isn't it? Is it or is it just me? Or should I throw something like that on there? Give me a little pop of black. Oh uh, yeah. Or no, too much blue. Too much blue, I think. So I think this is gonna be too much blue too. Let's see. It's a piece of that handmade paper from Loose Ends that I um, uh, 
script it over with my rose gold watercolor. Thinking about now. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Look, we got all these circles in here. That could be a circle. That could be a circle. Sooner or later, I don't know how or when, but I am going to get a piece of that washi tape in there. I can't even find a piece now. But this, this that I made, I'm going to get a piece in there. See, that doesn't work with that one either. <laughs> Gail, I had a good idea. What is it? See the other third base. Oh, yeah, Gail. I was watching today on different updates, and they were saying that anything elective, if you can put it off, do that for twofold. So you're not more compromised in any way, depending on the surgery. And so you're not, well, you won't be in a hospital for that. But so you're not in a hospital exposing yourself or um, it frees up the medical staff instead of working on some, with some, a patient that's elective for the people who really need to be seen urgently. Um, I love that little, I'm putting that for closer to the top. Oh, and I always like that, but that's too much. Too much. Hang on. Oh, there's a little bit of that with red on it. A little hunk of that maybe come in handy later. All right. I should be able to pick something out of that. Conglomeration of stuff that I pulled out. Yeah, I might use might use that later. It's funny what you can find in your little bits of stuff. Hmm. Do you want to tell the governor to send the stimulus check right to Amazon for you? <laughs> that would that would help actually save a step, right, Eileen? <laughs> Maybe something more simple like that. Oh, mercy. Oh. Maybe a little hunk of that later. All right. Oh, here's a, here's a little stripey circle. I can put that away. Oh, and here's one of these. Some of these, too. Black and gold. Black and gold. Oh, I like this with the stark black on that part of that circle. Maybe. All right, let's get that out of there. All right. All right, that should hold me Oop, for now, for now. April, hey. So you guys talking about paste, I missed that. Be bold. <laughs> hey, Sandra. Where do you get replacements with now on Amazon? Okay. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but that's okay. I don't need to know. So what if I... I mean, I could rip some of this off, right? It doesn't have to be that whole thing. i got to stand back. Let me zoom in a little bit. Little teeny tiny bit. Let's audition a couple more. I have to tear some of this out. I mean, I could just paint it on there, too, right? I don't have to. I hate to cover it with all this extra paper is what I'm looking at. It's not sitting just right with me. I think I put a little bit of something like that and just let that hang off of there. Maybe like that. 
get my black and white stripes in there. Patty, that looks like a, a boot with a big buckle. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I like this little this little scrap of something. I could cover up that rough edge with that. Maybe let that drop into here. Come down over that circle. I don't know. I kind of like that. Ah, colors off. Colors off. That's too. I think it's too drab for that page. I think these take up too much. And the white space. And this piece, I might be able to use. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let me glue some of this stuff down. I'm going to use a different Yoohoo glue stick because that one on these smaller, more fragile bits, I think, are going to be a little tricky. Okay, probably use that at some point. Uh, yes, let's get some blue on here. Somebody, and I don't know who it was, I can't remember. Ah, thanks, Rachel. Now, see, these all say magic blue, and they're not blue. Oh, does it turn blue? I thought they were blue in the stick, though. This one's partially blue in the stick. That sounds weird. <laughs> um, now I forgot. What was I going to say? Oh, um, I can't find the email. Somebody emailed me or contacted me through Etsy or Facebook, and I email. I can't find it anywhere that they wanted this, my stamp set that has a concentric circle stamp in it that I always use. And I, they were out of stock. And I got a restock in. I have a few. A, a couple of them went out today. But I have a few more of the set number ones left. So if that was anybody listening, they're back in stock. And um, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was. But find the communication. Oops, why is that buckling on me a little bit there? It's like it's stretched. <laughs> oh, why, why? Oh, I know what I might do if it goes crooked on me, which it's gonna. Can I move it? What are you guys looking for, April? And something Janet used. What are you guys using out there not telling me? <laughs> God forbid. I missed something I must have. Uh, why did I glue the whole thing? I want to cut that little fold off where I want it to drop off the page. Where did I cut that fold? Do now. We'll put another fold there. So I want to drop this down outside the circle. I want to put that black edge right on the edge of the paper. Hey, Regina. Patty, did you try the Tim Holtz embossing glaze? No, I don't have any of that. Patty, do you use a flatbed scanner and what kind of printer? Um, the printer, Jim, is an HP. Um, I think it's a 7855. Hang on. Yeah, it's an HP NV Photo 7855. And I signed up for the, um, the ink program where I pay... 
I think it starts out at $2.99 for like six months. And then after that, it might go to $4.99 a month. But then they, they monitor how many copies you're making and send it before you're out of ink, which I love. Um, and I really like the, the copies and everything that it does. I've had good luck with it so far. But I just use the scanner on that. It's one of the scan, I don't use the fax, but scan and copy and what else does it do? Does photos, whatever. And it was like, I got it on sale for like $129. It's $229, but I got it on sale for um, $129 when I got it. That's been several months ago. So who knows? They might be even having a better sale now that it's a little bit older. But I do, I do like it. I had good luck with it. It's wireless. So I can print from... phone or my computer yeah I kind of like it now what <laughs> um hands are cold. Warm heart. Um, oh, hey, Lena. I missed it. I have to go back and check out what you did. All right. What am I going to do now? <laughs> what the hell am I going to do now? That's kind of cool with that circle cut out. And it just happens to fit over that circle. Huh. I don't know. Is that serendipity? I'm not sure about the harsh. I mean, I could always tear it so it's not so square. But sometimes it's hip to be square. They should write a song like that. You like it with the square around there, Eileen? That's one of my patina papers, but it was... I used a circle of it, obviously, and this was the fringe that was left. Rip the top so it's not so straight. Kind of cool. I don't know how much ripping I could do over here and still have it. Maybe rip down halfway down like this. It's not really much up there anyway. Kind of grunge. Is that what you're talking about? Better be because now I ripped it. <laughs> yes. Like so? Well, maybe so. What the hell? Let me just... Uh... All right, let's put that down and see what happens. Let me make sure that wasn't work. Lots of stuff going on. Oh, no. Nope, that's top news stories. Eh, I can wait. A big booger on that one. Stop it. That's the same tone as our security cameras. 
which either means Dave's taking the pups out or Amazon. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jerry. All right, let me click on this link. I got to see what's going on here. I'll look at it later. Oh, you know what? That's the blades to that circle cutter, right? Is that what you guys are talking about? Oh, Lord, Jim. Oh, I wasn't in a panic till you said that. <laughs> that would be, I mean, understandable if they do that. But gosh, that whole operation that they are. We have two huge um, Amazon distribution centers uh, within like 15 to 20 minutes of here. And they're both over in the little town where I'm from, actually, where my mom still lives. And um, it's a very blue collar, um, not a very big mecca for jobs. However, um, the Bethlehem Steel plant that was there on the bay, uh, they blasted what they used to call L furnace where they melted all the steel years ago. They used to run 24 hours a day, three shifts. Um, and like everybody's father worked there. Um, but mine. <laughs> and uh, it was a big deal for the area. But when they went belly up and sold out. They finally blasted all that land. It was acres and acres, hundreds of acres of land. I don't know. Um, and uh, on that property, they started to build a bunch of stuff. And it's not far from the Port of Baltimore. It's real, literally on the other side of the Key Bridge from the Port of Baltimore. Um, but they have... Um, A huge FedEx, a huge Amazon, a huge Under Armour place. Facilities have gone in there, and all kind of all kind of other stuff are just piling in there, and it's going to provide tons and tons of jobs for that area again. And then the other one is just on the other side of that, up closer to our Harbor Tunnel. For those who have any idea what I'm talking about, um, now I'm sorry I left that little tail of that paper come down and interrupt that circle. I wonder if I can get that off of there. No, let's, let's not upset the apple cart. Okay, so that's where I am for a base right now. I need something else. I wonder if I took one of these stamps. Look how they got buckled laying on my jelly plate. I wonder if they'll be okay or how to unbuckle them. Anybody know? I shipped them from Arizona. Well, I didn't ship them. I brought them home, but they were in my suitcase. And then I didn't unpack until last this earlier this week, I think, or last week. Just ink it. Ink it with, I mean, a pad of ink. I think it'll print right with it all scoop de dude like that. I was going to put bronze paint on it rather than ink. And maybe put a light, a light impression of whatever sticks down in the middle of that to get a little, a little something in there. Okay. I feel like I need something. It's a big something. Uh oh. That <laughs> uh -oh, the striped circle on your page where you didn't like the paper hanging down. Oh, you mean color it in black? There's some of it on the white too, but that's okay. 
I think it won't even be hardly noticed once I, whenever I do whatever I do with it. I'm back in the pile. I get too many circles going. I love me a good sparkle. All right, let me see what I can do with this. What if I do? Oops, that went wrong, but just in the nick of time. <laughs> hey, Randy. Good to see you. Well, I don't really see you, but I see you online. Um, let's try. Let me tear this down so I can... Kind of give it a little audition. You know, that little it's a black on the edge, I think. I like a little pop of black. work anywhere. Sometimes I like a little something to go off the edge of the kind of the base frame that's down there. I can't say I hate that. That would be harsh anyway, wouldn't it? Um, I feel like it needs something right. Oh, oh, little glue right there is what it needs. Like it needs something. Not that it needs that, but I think it might need something right in the middle. Um, weird that high. I might have to sacrifice that if I use that. Okay, let me um, maybe some embossing. Maybe I use the pen I was talking about earlier. And I think I think I have one that is um and that's the fun point. Is that one with the brush tip? There we go. These are pens that have the embossing liquid in them as ink. So that supposedly, <laughs> supposedly, you can write with them. Let's give it a whirl. Um, I got to write slower. Now, let me get some embossing powder. Oh my gosh. 
and sitting around too much with this third foot. Just for giggles, I'm just going to use this one. This is the patina box, patina something. Of Seth's. Oh, it's on here. Patina oxide. I was right. Hmm. Looks like it worked. Where's my heat gun? I'm trying to read chat, think about what I'm going to do, find my heat gun, pick up the... Hey, Linda! Picking up embossing powder. <laughs> I just said I can't multitask anymore. It's got... Have you ever seen this melted, Rachel? Rachel O.? It's got copper in it. So it really does look like patina, like when a copper roof starts to uh, turn in the weather. See, it does that. But that's kind of cool with that pen, huh? Well, not so cool to you, maybe, but I like it. So I'm um, thinking, what if... What if I did kind of a swath of, of scripting, like from here to here maybe, with that in the middle of this? So it's kind of staying kind of monotone, monocolor, mono, monotone, right? And then I'll do something else with black and white or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's called Letter It by ranger um i think i got a set of three kind of a meaty a, a fine tip a bigger blunt tip and then this brush tip sure. and they have the embossing stuff in it yeah it is it is cool embossing powder it's for it's seth afters you can get it on his site sethafter.com or other places have it too um Joggles and um, Xander, do you have any Seth's embossing powders in your shop? Um, I don't remember seeing them there. Um, uh, my brain just froze. Ugh. Simon says stamp carries them. All right, let me concentrate for a moment. <laughs> um. Hang on, let me get See, I'm thinking this is too big, but maybe a big black swather. I wonder what it would look like if I took tear off more of this white but put a big just a big strip of black uh, scripting right down the middle and then emboss over it with a smaller script in the turquoise Too much. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I have 
Hold the phone. I'm thinking about a big, a big blob. A symbol. Uh -huh. yeah, do I have to make one? I'm thinking about the translucent paper and disappearing in the sunset and which symbols I like. Sometimes I just kind of scratch around to practice and I get going too fast and I get totally out of control. <laughs> Imagine that. Huh. Well, um, let me, let's just do an experiment. I wonder, well, did we decide onion skin will do the water tearing? What if you use the embossing pen on top of the black scripting, adding some of that powder? Eh. You know what? I'm going to do that just for an experiment, whether I use it or not, April. That's kind of a cool uh, idea. So let's have a go with that, shall we? Um. Oh, you know, um, Rachel and Zandra and I see some of you other girls have been over to the Queen's Inc., but the ones of you that have are have gone more often, um, they closed, uh, government closed Columbia Mall, which is really close to the Queen's Inc., but they also closed Savage Mill, which is where Queen's Inc. is. Um, so their retail store is shut down. They do have an online store. But one thing I thought was cool that they were doing is if you are local and you call in and tell them what you want, I mean, you can't go in and browse around, but if you call them and tell them what you want, they'll put your order together. And when you show up, you call them and they run it out in the parking lot and hand it off to you. Yeah. Z's I'm sure. Yeah. Z will stay open. I'm sure. Burned down in fires. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to be head down here for a minute, and I'm going to try to put a little bit finer line on. I'm wondering if this will reactivate the ink. I want some of this black to still show. Yeah, you know, like I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I did this character. <laughs> Must have been in one of my out of control strokes. Now I'm going to stop because I'm probably going to dry. <laughs> and that's going to just tick me off. I did that for nothing. Oh my, stay damp, stay damp. Might have to do a character at a time if this doesn't work. 
we're about to see. Well, that's not going to work, is it? No, let's just do that. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's stuck everywhere. All right. I want to be a good experiment. Don't try this at home, folks. At least not yet. Hey, Gun. All right, here we go. I love to watch this melt. All right. That looks kind of cool, actually. April, you're a genius. I think I'm going to use it. I'll tear off some more of that white. Oh, look at that. Oh, April. I have to call this my April technique. Oh, my goodness. And I think we just, yeah, for sure the calligraphy will, will water cut. I do know that. So I can do that pretty easily. When I say water cut, I just, I don't know. That's what I've always called it. I heard somebody say that one time, I guess. Or maybe I made it up. Who knows? But I forgot about it. Because I only ever used it on tissue. And then I was watching Robin the other day. And genius that she is. Was using it on calligraphy paper. And so you just wet the brush. And drag it over the paper. And it's the fibers just let you pull it apart really easily. So we're going to get rid of a bunch of this excess white stuff here. Rather than have to try to tear it. Right, and just gently pull on it and it separates and it gives you a really nice ragged edge which is what we mostly most of us want anyway and it just separates following that wet line look at that how fancy I don't have the rustic indigo. I don't have that one. Definitely sounds like I should. I showed, I did a little video of how I um, came up with this print. And tag Seth on it so he could find it. And then he wanted to go to my channel. So I directed him to my channel so he could go look at um, how I did it. I told him where on the timeline because it was like a three-hour video or something. So I directed him to the timeline. He said he was going to give it a try. See how you can get this shaped? I could go closer, I guess, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. My hand's not all that steady, as we know. But like up in here, I can get rid of a lot of that down here. All right. Now, let's see what we got. Ooh, this is exciting. Woo! Look at that. Oh, mama, like you. So I think I'm going to use my, um, where the hell is it? My Yamato starch paste. Right? Got it on Amazon. Don't know how long we can get it. Given the latest news. 
but it's really good for um, using it with rice paper. It goes pretty. Um, <coughs> pretty um, translucent. There's the word I'm looking for. Uh, paper towel. Gosh, I hate to use a paper towel now. Ugh. I told Dave when the neighbors start seeing curtain panels disappear in one every every few days, they know we're out of toilet paper. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, where's my deli for my mess? Um, this little piece of scrumptiousness. Oh, I love you. April, you're a freaking genius. So, as I said before, when I first tried this stuff, um, I didn't go all the way out to the edges. And when I glued it down, you could see the fringe, these fringy fibers on the edge that were more white than translucent. So now, oops, don't, don't even. So now that I know that, I make sure I hit those edges as much as I put down the middle of the, of the design so that they are less evident. So now I'm in my head, I'm thinking, what other colors can I emboss over some scripting? Oh. Hmm. Sorry, heads down, guys, if you're chatting me up, I'll be there in, in a minute. This is, um, if you guys ever use Yes Paste, I used to use that for some things. Um, I haven't used it for a while, but um, you know how that's got a real thick, snotty consistency? This is a real creamy, snotty consistency, and it, you don't have to fight it on the brush. It doesn't, you know, it goes on a lot nicer, I think. Now, I'm sure it's a completely different kind of blue, but I'm just saying Oh, look at you, precious. I don't want to drag my bone folder over that because that paper's fragile when it's dry and when it's wet it's just ready to disintegrate at any minute now see now i'm not sure i almost started to glue that but hey amalia um Oh, actually, you know what? Hang on a minute, uh, April. Remind me to look. I just saw your question about um, um, embossing stuff. There is a, a bottle of that stuff, kind of like fingernail polish with a brush in it, that Seth uh, sells on his. It's by Wow. And I have a bottle. I will show you in a minute. I'm, so anyway, what I started to say is I started to just cover this whole thing. And then I realized I don't want to put a, a dulling sheen over the actual font. So I'm going to try to go around and just hit on top of the paper where, where I can do that. I won't be able to do it everywhere. That's okay. But where I can, it'll be more translucent with the glue on the top and the bottom I found. I don't know if you guys can see this getting more and more translucent as I wet the side. I can see that chevron shapes of that paper coming through as the glue soaks in. 
to the fibers of the paper. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Almost done. That one's got to get a little glue underneath of there. All right. In the water. Let's see what we got. Look at that. There we go. Our up close focus. How cute is that? My April technique. Hang on. While I'm thinking about it, I'll grab that bottle and stuff. I don't know where to put it. Oh, oh here it is. <clears throat> this is it, April. Now, whether this will come out in a, um, out of a pen, I don't want to waste it and try it. <laughs> But it's called Wow Mixed Media Embossing Brush. Inspired by Seth After. And see, it's a brush of that stuff, like a fingernail polish. Who's he digging in there? Brush. So, oh my gosh, I love that. What can I add to that now? I don't know. I don't need that, I don't guess. Um, Thinking maybe some shiny gold in here somehow with my maybe with one of my calligraphy pens. Hey Andrea. I love it. Oh, should I just put my hand in the glow? <laughs> really love it. Um Maybe a little foil scripting in here to kind of pick up the gold bits in this print. Can you see them? They're in there. All right. And see where that little tip came down into there? I wish that wasn't there now, but. You didn't miss an F-bomb here. I didn't say that. I was a good girl. Did I? <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Um, get it together. Get it together. What am I doing? I think I'll do that. Because I can. I did? <laughs> Why did I say it? <laughs> For real? Oh, I am a bad girl. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> Did I really? It was very casual, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> oh, my. 
I must have been one of those moments when I thought I was down the basement by myself because I wasn't looking at chat. I'm desensitized. That could be. I wonder how that would look with pulling the copper out of there instead of so much the gold. Huh. That's a thought. I don't know. Is it a good thought? There's the gold. Don't know. Oh, hey, Josie. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And silver. I don't know. I never use this rosy gold color. Maybe I'll use that to be something different. It kind of, it kind of matches up with the. The I gotta stop touching that wet glue. Kind of lines up with the um. The copper in that um, embossing powder. Get in there. Oh, sweet Lucy. Oh, it's snowing. Where are you, Brooke? Sheesh, that's hard to get back in there. Okay, let's just do a little something, something down the middle here. So, I'm going to kind of be... In that vicinity. Oh, in Maine, wow. All right, heads down again. Actually, I'm gonna go this way so I have some have some swinging room on my stroke. This is the calligraphy tip. Calligraphy tip. Um, we are memory keepers. Foil quill, the freestyle one that plugs into a USB. some reason this is really pulling on this rose gold coppery stuff it's not giving me a similar stroke that I like hmm I'm gonna try it again Now it is what it is. Oh, that's not too bad. I can live with that. Just a little, little shimmer shine there. I feel like it needs a little something, but what could that something be? Pray tell. Maybe what I'll do is set this aside, let this dry. See how it's going pretty translucent? And you can see the pattern through the paper. See that? That's pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, pretty cool. The only thing maybe, maybe be and maybe I just have to do it on here with with, uh, with ink. I just do a, do a little black scripting down here to get a little more black off of this and this. And outside the outside this frame. You know, to kind of bring it over like this. Just a little bit down here. We'll think on that. Anyway, there's where, where, we, where we is for now. I like it. 
All right, I'm going to sit it over here and let that dry a little bit. And I think we're going to um, move into, well, not move, but do a different kind of collage so that I can um, cut it up into APCs for more cards. Um, I better unplug this and plug my computer back in. You should love it, April. You're the one, that, you're the brilliant idea that brought it all home. Okay. Um, Why is the computer sitting on the arse too much? With my foot up in the air, although I don't have to do that as much now. But honestly, when I'm just sitting around working all day on my laptop, there's not much else to do. So here's it's just the Strathmore, you know, the yellow pad. Uh, Cold press, 11 by 15, 140 pound. That's what I use as the base for my ATCs. So then I'm going to So this kind of collage is easier to do because it's not like a finished piece. I know I'm going to cut it up. And uh, actually, maybe I'll use some of these. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to put on the background. Oh, my goodness. And um, maybe what I'll use are some of these and just put these metallics on here. Maybe. Get that out of my way. I'm going to zoom back out again. An art turn. <laughs> I said ass. <laughs> I did. So you know what I found? I try. I used to try to do that, April, but I found that with the um the jelly plate with this, you don't with the texture on the watercolor paper. Like I wasn't getting a real clean kind of. Print. So what I was doing was just dropping watercolor on here. Oh, maybe we'll use some assessed sprays on here. We can really make a mess because I don't have any rhyme or reason of what I'm going to do. Judy, oh, hello, lover to you too. Maybe I'll put down some sprays. And then maybe come over it with the turquoise gel. Because these are metallic. Well, I don't. You know what? I have the, the blue and the, um, I have the green one, I think. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Hang on. There's two more in here. This is the green one, emerald. And this is antique pearl. Ah. Good old pearl. You want to see the ice? I know you've seen the ice. You probably have all the ice. <laughs> ah, 
I'll put ice over these. I want to get a little bit more color because I only have these metallics and then this whatever the hell this is called glacier. It says blue ocean. What was it called? Glacier green. I think he said on this stream the other day that he was going to the next packaging is going to have the English and the um, uh, French name on it. Sheesh. Now I wonder if I sprayed the paper with water first and then put these on. Fast drying, no clog. So they kind of run a little bit. You know what I mean, Vern? So let's get stuff out of harm's way here. Get my big sprayer. Eileen, are you fibbing? I thought for sure you were fibbing. Okay, we'll use them. All right, this is one of those continuous sprayers that one squeeze goes for a long while. I don't want to get it too wet, that it's never going to dry, but I want to try to hit everything with just a little mist because I don't know how these are going to act with the water. Let's just say, oh, hello. Get some green in there. I haven't making a, made a mess with sprays in a long time. Should I put gold down there? Or the pearl? Maybe the pearl. I think you said this was this was what makes... Wow, Eileen. How did that happen? Who are you and what have you done with Eileen? I think the pearl is what he was saying will make any color a shimmery color. Let's see. All right, I'm just going to fluff them around a little bit, let them blend. This is going to be a way, 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 way background layer. Anybody watches me do these, there's going to be a whole lot of stuff that goes on top of these babies. Oh, let's make a mess. Let's make a mess. And I don't care if it gets on the back. There's, of course, it'll be on there when I write on them and say thank you. But <laughs> I don't think anybody really cares. Get a little bit more water in there. I should take a brush and just brush it around. As I go. I kind of like it like streaky like that. Actually, I think I'm going to take my heat gun and dry that a little bit. It's all buckled up. It's kind of pretty blended all together. Then I think I'll use the gold glaze over this. The, the ice, ice, ice baby. Bum, 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 bum. You try the glossy photo paper or you po. Oh yeah, Rachel. I I had a uh, quite the spell of doing watercolors on on you po some time ago, and that's what I was doing, stream after stream after stream. Actually, if you saw me do the last uh, a couple videos ago, I took two cradle boards that I had you po with watercolor on it, and then added layers to that to. Um, um, give it more of a focal point and more interest instead of just it just looked like backgrounds the more I was home with my foot up in the air sitting there looking at it the more they bugged me 
Yeah, they are bright. I know he was talking about how pigmented they are. Oh, crap. Oh, texture. Oh, look at that. I don't really, actually, I don't really care what happens with this first layer because, as I said, it's going to be way underneath the stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is just the uh, emerald, the o blue ocean, and the pearl, and then the pearl, uh, antique pearl on top. All right. Good enough. Oh, hell. I don't want that piece of paper falling on my hot heat gun. I'm going to get that one dot off of there that refuses to dry. See all the silver in here? From the pearl you can really see it on there if you hold it just to right let me put my daylight light on and that help see that pearl in there so here we go here's that so now let's take this i'm gonna hand it in the palette knife Oh, I bet that would look cool, Rachel. <coughs> All right. Now, okay. Stand back, people. Here we go. Let's see what happens. This is the gold. Uh, yeah. Isink Ice, which is a gel. Um, and it's like a finish that you put on. And you can layer and layer and layer these. And they just keep looking cool. Um, so, I don't know. Let's just start here. And do I don't know how this is going to look with it being watercolor paper with the texture. Uh, that looks pretty cool, actually. I'm not worried about getting every little inch of it done. So let's do well, another streak. And remember, these are all going to be cut up into ATC sizes. For those of you, you guys all know what they are, but for anybody watching later, it's artist trading card size, this, which is the standard size, is two and a half by three and a half inches. And I just use them as little thank yous when I send out one of my Etsy orders for my stamps. And wherever there's a spot on here that it ends up that I'm not wild about, I will just collage over that bad boy. Hey, Susan. This is real gel-like. It's got a really smooth consistency. I'm trying to get those knife marks out of there. And when Seth was demoing this the other day, he actually um, Put it on a little bit thicker and then ran his knife through it and made 3D textures in it. Which I don't necessarily want to do on this because I'm going to collage over top of it. So I, I want to avoid the bumps in this layer. But actually, you know what I'm going to do? And he said, put the lids on. Don't leave these laying out without the lid for long. 
Good question, Lena. What's her question? Where are you, Lena? Did you ask me a question? I'm going to go back in case she did. Lena, super transparent. Oh, I don't see a question. But I'll try to keep my eye peeled. I'm going to throw a little silver on here, too, just because I can. Just to mix it up a little bit. You never know where the cuts are going to end up. Although I kind of can tell. I've done so many of them. And it's very sticky. So if you're going to wipe off your tool, you don't want to wait too long. It might have a job of it. I might have waited too long. Now yeah, that came off. I got it. They're water-based, but they are sticky. Sticky, sticky. Okay. Wow, look how reflective they are. Holy macaroni. Wow. Okay. Hey, all thumbs. That's my goal. To, to, um, Oh, in California. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, a couple people, well, more than a couple, actually contacted me and said, could you please stream more? We're stuck. We want something to laugh at and something to watch. So I'm trying to do my part for humanity. <laughs> the vast majority would say, Patty, please stay off. You too. We're too stressed to watch you. I would completely understand. But in there, so I'm gonna do what I want to do so far. Okay, now let's get some stuff down here. I wonder, can I stamp with these on an ink pad? But it's on watercolor paper. It's going to come out real sketchy, I think. We'll try it. We will see. Let me get with archival. Good old archival. I really like this one. Just throw it right there. Yes, the ice, um, they are sticky. When they dry, they're cool, but when they're when they're wet and drying, they are sticky. Wow, that's really faint. But maybe not a bad little backgroundy thing to put in there. Well, oh, here it is. Oh, great, upside down. Let me just uh I don't know. We'll throw a couple more in there. Wonder if I put a mouse pad under it, if I get a little bit better impression. And where, where did I put my ice pad? My mouse pad. Oh Lord, no telling. I thought it was, and it's not. Okay, well, or not. Jan, I got these on Etsy. The place was called Tally Boutique. T like Tally. A H L I, I think. Tally Boutique. Uh, that's some really cool ones. I really like this one too. And I got them pretty quick. They, she ships them from India. But I got them pretty quick. So again, I'm not looking for a focal point or anything because. This is all just going to be a bunch of hoo-ha when I get it done. 
you will see. I, I, I make it overly busy where it looks like I should have stopped way long time ago. Use acrylic, oh, acrylic paint, yeah. That's all right. I just got a little, a little shadow down there. Um, hang on, maybe, uh, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my flat one. <laughs> While it's still flat, and um, I'm going to brayer some bronze paint on the jelly plate and use that as an ink pad. All right, and pick up some paint and throw that down in the background too. Just any old wear. I was surprised by how well the wooden stamps pulled the paint off of the gel. Yeah, they really did pick it up. I mean, here's that print that I did. And the white is where it pulled up the um, that dragon flash pink. That's kind of sketchy, but it's still back there. So we'll see. I'm going to see if I can get more of this on here. All right. So just another little, another little something in there. It's in there. Believe me. All right. That'll be a cool pickup later. Um, what other things do I want to... I'll put some other stamps on here. Um, just to get another another little thump something, something in the background. All right. Do I want black? Um, and again, this is on watercolor paper, so. The impression of the stamps isn't going to be perfect because of the texture. I'm going to have my um, the new pictographs done in stamps soon. And I just drop, drop multiple images wherever so that kind of when my, um, when the cards are all cut up, they kind of look like they came from the same batch because, you know, you'll get a little bit of this, like this card might get cut here. So you see a little bit of both of those stamps. So I think I'm going to do these. Couple of sets in here. I love these round ones of his. And remember going to get all cut up. I always got to keep saying it to myself because I'm thinking this looks like crap, but it's going to fall. It's 
can all be okay. It'll be all right. I really like the scamp, so I'm going to put one right here because I know that's going to be one of the cuts that comes out of there. Oh, my. Oh, Cut the baby wipe. All right. Where's my lid? Put these out of the way. And I, I thought about um, putting some... Uh, embossing on here but then you can't really cut it you'd have to emboss it after it was cut up so see it's looking crappier that's where you're supposed to go but look at that paint underneath of there now that that's dry and you see it in the little grooves of the watercolor paper with that texture yeah that's a cool shot yes mama like okay so now I'm going to start doing some collaging. And I think I'm going to throw some washi tape in here. Um, let's see. I don't generally use washi tape on these. Oh, what the hell? We'll just stick a little bit down here. Here and there. Because I don't know how well these are actually going to stick. So I'm not going to use a lot of them. I'm just going to put a couple pieces. It'll be experimental. You know how I like me a good experiment. This one seems to be extra sticky. <laughs> it's transparent, too. You can see the pictographs and this other stamp underneath of that. Let's put a little bit in there. Um, you know how I do like a good papa, though. Did Patty just say thumb collaging? Thumb collaging? I don't know what a thumb collage is. Of course, I've said other things that I don't think I'm saying today. Um, and this. I just might drop one of these across here somewhere. Let's just do that, shall we? Why not? This one, I'm definitely going to add some uh, glue. <clears throat> I'm just going to put one little piece of this on here because I'm not sure that I trust it. Glue stick it. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I'll be working from home indefinitely. Dave, uh, they can't, but they did today come up with a plan to divide into two groups and they'll work. One, one will be off a week and then the one, the other group will come on the next week. So they'll rotate weeks off and weeks working. So that's good. I mean, I guess it's it's not great because it doesn't really keep him away from everything, but at least he gets a break every other week. And then the people coming back in have to be checked before they come in. It's a whole thing. You know what? Assuming that's going to work, Let's be positive. I'm going to put a streak right down the middle. Let's just do that. 
Let's just do it. Ah! Air traffic over Eileen's. Drone down. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. Get out. Let's put a streak right about here. This is different than what I've ever done before. <laughs> Doing these. So who knows where we're going to end up. But what the hell. Oops. Still picking up with the flipping glow stick on it. Come on now, don't be, don't be hosing me up that way. Don't do it. Burnish them down a little bit more. All right. So now let's start throwing. Let's start throwing something else on here. So I'm thinking. What piece of paper do I have? Oh, here it is. That might be too transparent for that. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I have this one of my favorite jelly prints I ever did. I printed it. You can't see it as much it, in person. This would really it was really cool. But this was on. I printed it on tracing paper. It's not near as precious, and the colors are different. Blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? It's disposable at this point. So I thought maybe and I only need the part with some color on it. I think. And I don't even know if I'm going to use it. So let's just Some kind of odd shape that would be in the corner there, maybe. Or do I want to do it that way? I don't know. This kind of drab. Eh. Not liking that. Okay, let's go. Let's go to my little my little box of goodies. Here's this other piece. Some of Robin's tape I made out of one of her prints. Let's see. CB, a laser printer on onion skin and won't hold a glue stick. Huh.
So I might need more circles. I will need more circles. Let's just say that. All right, let's see what we got here now. Yeah, I knew you'd like some of them, Jan. Yeah, I sent Z some links the other night because they had a lot of nautical ones out there. Now I'm just going to start piling up some stuff. I have no idea how this is going to come out because I'm just doing everything different from before. Anything can happen! Actually, I also used uh, matte medium for everything. And I'm just glue stupid it now. Slapping some of these bad boys wherever. I'm just going to do that right there. No rhyme or reason. It's so hard. I got to keep saying that out loud to myself because I'm always thinking about the focal point or whatever. <laughs> and um, I don't. What a focal point. Really? So I want every I want every card to be busy enough to be its own little art piece. See how some of this gets covered up? The stamps just got that little bit sticking out of it. Who knows where the card's going to break? If it's going to, it's like here to here and then to here. So it gets all crazy. I have. I'm always surprised how many people, when I don't get an Oakley video done, how many people send me messages and stuff like, when is Oakley going to talk to us again? <laughs> I wonder if I just drop that in there and let it, I don't take up most of a card though. Drop that in there. I don't know why. That might be something that I come back and boss over later once they're cut up. Yep. Good lord, can you guys hear Dave? <laughs> Talks up loud on the phone. 
<laughs> Bless his little heart. Now this. I can actually go right there. Who cares? Oops. Uh -oh. Had a little roly poly on me there. <laughs> Walk away and look back at it. Um, I got this little piece of brilliance here. right there. A couple little pictographs from a jelly print that were left over. Okay. Um, all right, let me get some black and white in here. Get one of my punches, maybe a couple of my punches. I did not, I did not toot. <laughs> oh crap. Here we go. Here we go. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, people. I'm gonna put a piece of cardstock behind it, I guess. Sheesh. Hang on, let me get a piece. I'll punch some of this too. That'd be cool. Hang on, here's my ruler. I'm just getting the edges off of this so I can punch some circles out of it and reach it with the. I like that edge there, actually. Okay, put these out of my face. <coughs> All right. That's better. Some of these I'll trace in black to make them pop out a little more. And maybe some of this I'll just tear and glue a strip down here and there. All right, this, 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 this. I need some black and white.
Is that too? That might be too small. No. No, no, no. All right. Sorry, guys. I've been head down here. What have I missed? What are you all doing out there? Oh, yeah. So if somebody just came in, I'm doing a crazy busy collage that I will cut up into ATCs that I use as little like thank you cards for my um, Etsy orders. So that's what we're in the middle of at the moment. And I mean, I make it crazy, overly, overly busy. Get that out of my way. So now I'll need to get some, maybe I'll make some tape out of it. This is already tape, but maybe I'll cut some of this up and put little strips I don't know. I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Don't rush me. <laughs> that piece with a quarter circle. Oh, this? That was a jelly print. There's the other part of it. I cut it out. I did that with one of my round, round stencils and some PBO paints years ago, I guess it was. See, and these are going to get all cut up into little teeny tiny guards. So I can't really overdo it. Well, I guess I could, but trust me. Just trust me. Trying to do it so everyone gets a little bit of some kind of scripting action on it. See, this would look really cool. The only place I could put this would be here. And then I lose all that stuff behind it. Yeah. For another day, I will save you. Okay, let's see. Um, will these actually work or are they too? Have you always have beautiful papers? Oh, thanks. I um a lot of the ones that I bought are from looseends.com. Dot com. And I don't want everything going straight. I need some. You know what? Let me get some circles down here because um I had some bigger ones somewhere in here. Here we go. Here we go. See, this would kind of look kind of cool on there, but it's kind of big. It's kind of big. Uh, don't have a date yet, Susan, for the new stencil release. Um, I um, am waiting on Sherry to come back with the new uh, information about um, her new site being launched. And I gave her some dates that I could do it for the weekend. So... I think it'll be in the next couple of few weeks. Is Patty make you no know, Patty's making her? Yeah, I don't know what question it was, but all this is all gonna get cut up into smaller bits for um, ATCs for my little thank you notes for Etsy orders. Maybe I'll just do this. Maybe I'll cut her down here. And put them strategically that's what we'll do if a big circle won't fit a half circle will <laughs> let me put you right there my little darling
what the gala do that's funny. Lord only knows. Uh, where'd the other part go? Here we go. I might put that cut into there. So when I, for those of you who don't know, that just join what if ATCs are, they're artist trading cards and they're two and a half by three and a half inches. So this is all going to get cut up. So I got to make it overly busy so that when it gets cut up, it looks like every card is, you know, got enough interest on it to stand up for itself. Look how cool these are. See, if I place this strategically, part of this will be in four different cards, probably, because this one's going to be come down like this. This will just have a little corner in it. Then this one will come down and have this bit in it. Then on the second row, you know, you'll get, there'll probably be six cards at this touch. If I place it strategically, which I hardly ever do. You know what? Let's just glue her down. Less talking and more gluing. Boom. Done. Stick her down there and move on. Again, no focal point, just throwing them down. All right. All right, now I need to get a little black and white in there. Oh, where's my little... Didn't I have more than one of those in the little tiny circle? Tiny stripes? I don't know. Okay. Um, he do talk loud. Surprised you guys can't hear the, the rumblings. Patty, I'll do what we do. Oh, hey, Bunny. Penny in the vault. Hey, Penny, did you get my email? I replied on your email. Um, I, I can't find what you were asking me about. I need to find that. You can let me know what what format or what um <laughs> see if one gets cut here that's not going to be very interesting that's going to be just big chunks of something so maybe i'll put that in there to bust that up did little dramatic but okay <laughs> oh god bless us <laughs> eventually we go back cb i don't see what the big deal was clearly she's not dead That's way crazier than any I've done. <laughs> Crazy. Maybe I'll do a little. Uh... Maybe I'll 
tear that in half yet. And then sew some horizontal little stripes through it out here and there. And it doesn't really matter where you put them. That's the beauty of the whole thing. <laughs> you can make it screw it up however you want to screw it up. And somehow when you cut it into little pieces. Uh-oh. Just sort of cool. Ah, don't bend on me. Don't wrinkle. <laughs> Night, Pat. Something, something in here should break this up. Maybe over top of that. Or maybe in here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Another little pop of black and white. Just to bust it up. All right, back away. Let me see where we are. Holy moly. Oh, don't worry, even to me it looks crazy. <laughs> I know that's saying something. Little half squirkle. Where am I going to put you? See, there's not much of the background sticking out of there now, just enough to catch the light. Always like these stripes for wh where I know is going to be the top of a card. I can't tell you why, I just do. Yep. See, most of the stamps I put down are covered up. down here in this little corner that's kind of blank. Okay, something needs to happen in here. Let's tear it this way and get the stripes like that going. Am I missing anything in chat? I really should be paying. Seems nice, but really not. That's a nice time for me to look up. <laughs> you knucklehead. <laughs> oh, very nice, Gala. Just because you break a rib on my watch. Never hear the end of it. Oh, I like that. I like these little jailbird kind of stripes here. <laughs> yeah, I am going to splat, but I'm trying to decide what to splat with. I'm going to splat it. Hmm. 
and more little jailbirds down here. Over here we need a little something busting this up a little bit. Nothing like a little pop of black and white to bring it all in from crazy town. All right, I need another little bit of that. Huh, I wonder if that would... No. <laughs> Maybe just that little bit right there. Oh, big glue bugger. Big glue bugger. I'm going to stick you right in there. All right. Oh, here we go. I was rolling around on the ground for a while, but I was eventually able to get up and slowly go back to the ice cream bed. Oh, bless your heart. Oh. <laughs> uh. I don't know how you made it, to be honest. <laughs> um, I'm going to put you a little bit right there. Look at you right there on top of that text. I need another little pieces of this stuff. This is, this is just right. Thanks, Rachel. It's all it's all a bunch of crazy right now, but that's that's the that's my goal. You gotta go crazy to be able to pull her back. And you cut it up. Because if you don't, some please some cards are gonna look like they just got green and blue paint on them. And that's not interesting. Where can I use this little half a squircle here? See, this is kind of plain right here. Oops, that's you're not sticking good right there. See, this is a little blah right there. Break that up a little bit. That little green blob going down the side. Okay. What is just trip because I had too many art ride art ideas in my head. Yeah, I'm gonna make ATCs out of it, Rachel, for a little I put little like use them as thank you cards in my Etsy orders. So um, this will make, I think it's, I think we get 15 out of this and some scraps. But I'm going to cut them all up. That's why it's so busy. Because I know in the end, See this big amount right here? There's like nothing going on there. But if I do this right in there, you're going to lose some of the pretty blue and the black washi. But this circle will probably be on like three or four different cards. So it won't be one big circle like you think. Hey, 
Shauna? How you doing? Uh, let's see. Just want a little stinky piece of this black and white here. I made that up. Stinky? What does that mean? What does that even mean? But I know where I'm going to put it. Down this edge where it's just plain old green over here. I'm going to drop it like it's hot right in here somewhere. And that little ragged edge will have green here and there around it. You dig? See, I'm not even going to use this now. That's, that's too much. Unless... <laughs> unless I did that. I think we can go with something else over here. Let's... One good thing, I don't know if the glue stick's going to really work for this long term, <laughs> but um, I need to cover up all that. Let's just do this. Um, it's I can work quicker on this instead of having to dry it in between. Uh when it's so many layers of um, matte medium on there. <laughs> See, I even, I need to get a little piece of that black and white striped stuff. And drop some more of that in here. Here we go, here's a piece. Oh, shoot. Darn it, I didn't want to tear it that way. And yet I did. All right, well, let's just work with that straight edge. When I got a straight edge, I like to try to put it either against a piece of the tape I run lengthwise and widthwise where it's straight or on that off the edge over here. Like so, to get a little more interest in there. Because that's going to be a card that's like about like that, right? So you gotta have you gotta have more crap on here than you'd think. <laughs> okay, now I gotta let it sit here for a minute. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I told you, and then I forgot what I was gonna do. I wanna lean it up there and just look at it for a minute. Kind of squint my eyes and see what's missing. <laughs> um, I told you, Oakley did a little video. Janice, soap opery. Hang on. Oh, crap, I missed that. No, I didn't. Okay. So here's here's Oakley's little video. Oh, wait a minute. Stop. Hang on. Somebody people. Here we go. Hi everybody. Oakley here. Oh my goodness. So many people have asked mother to get off the stick and produce another video for me. I feel the need to try to make some people smile with all this talk about coronavirus and toilet paper. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what coronavirus is. And toilet paper. Who needs it?
it. Oh, and better doggies too. Take care. There's his political message for the day. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I got to. Oh, hell, this isn't going to stick. I'm going to have to go back with this glue and hit some of these little rascals here that aren't going to cooperate. I'm going to need my paper. I use a baby wipe. What else isn't going to stick? Anything else coming up on me here? No. Uh oh. Where's my pen? Oh, oh that quick. That quickly. Oh, here it is. Got her. Don't anybody panic. Hello, mess today. Good to see you. Okay. Um, I'm making a mess today. Looking at that little piece there. I like that little piece. Okay. Um, Thing I gotta get way back from this for a minute here and try to concentrate. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to put my um, overlapping paint rings on here. But my my papers are curling up. Oh, see you, April. Thanks for dropping in. Stay safe. Okay. All right, um, do I need another little bit of this in here? something from there. Not really. Maybe to break this up a little bit. I should cut that off in there to interrupt that. I notice I'm talking more to myself than you guys. <laughs> but I want to, before I quit, what time is it? Nine o'clock. I want to cut this up so you can see The method of my madness, method to my madness. I'm going in there a little bit and break that up, and then maybe another little bit. It's not big enough. I think I think through here we're gonna do something. So now I'm gonna stop after this. All right, let me stop there and move all this stuff. These are all just cardstock, I think. Yeah, who knows? We may use those for masks on the jelly plate one of these days. All right, that there, that there. Get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of this. Uh, uh. Oh, I could add some gold stuff. What the hell am I doing? Oops. It goes that way. Okay, I think what I'm going to do 
Did I lose another lid? Is this possible? Does this happen to anyone else? Oh, oh no, this is the one I don't, I only had the one lid for the two sticks. So I'm okay. We'll just have to deal with that. We'll just have to deal with it. So I think I'm going to take, um, and I might, instead of this, I might use a different one, the blue one, the dark blue one. That's the big, that's the bold tip. I never used that one. I'm going to use some gold foil. Hey, Paula. All right, let me plug this in. No kidding, Gala. Truth. For once, you said something I agree with. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let this heat up. And I'm just going to put little marks here and there. Not necessarily scripting, because I'm not using the calligraphy tip. I'm just, this is the bold tip. That's the, the bigger, the biggest round tip. Um, but it'll put another little something, something. Like maybe on some of these black stripes, I'll just put little dashed lines down there. We'll try a small one first in case I screw it up. <laughs> That's what we'll do. And then I take, oh, Jesus. I take my nifty little mason jar lid and I'll get some gold paint on a piece of uh, paper palette. And some gold paint. Oh my God, Patty. What did I do? <laughs> did I miss something? <laughs> Apparently I'm saying things that I don't even know I'm saying tonight. <laughs> I'll put some. Wow, I'm almost out of this. I'm going to have to order some more. Golden Spine. Gold Iridescent. That should stand out. Oh my God! What did I do? What's oh? What's I only know my God me about? <laughs> we never know. Nasty to get nasty to gala. Oh, you don't know nasty to gala. <laughs> oh, see, here's the tricky part. Once you put this on, you can't really see it. So you got to kind of cheat. Let me bring you in a little bit. You're gonna want to witness this in person. <laughs> See, I'm letting that, that little dotted line there. That's so I can kind of imagine through the foil where, um, where I'm going to write. And then I can feel where the circle ends about down to there. So let's just, I'm just going to do dots. Trying to feel where this darn thing ends. And they're probably not going to be straight or anything like that. <laughs> that would be asking too much. <laughs> but I'm not a machine, people. Doing it by hand. I can go another one down there. In here. All right, let's just see what we got. Oh, oh, looky. Well, hang on, I have too many things in my hand, and I can't get this darn thing to focus. I was right. They are not straight, but from a distance, they are <laughs> like a quarter. <laughs> All right, let's do that here and there, shall we? That's right, Jess. Yeah, what the hell? 
Okay, let's see if I can line this one up. This one's shorter, so it goes to there. Too off of there, but oh well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that here too. I'm trying to line it up so I can get some more dots out of this. Oh, cool. Okay. There and where's the bottom? There. All right. And what's cool about this is it's not the paint like I used to use where you had to let that dry. Cool. I like it. All right, let's do this one here. Here I'm kind of cheating and looking at the little black edge to my right. If I can see how big the circle is. I like it. And this one I'm just going to do blind. <laughs> Almost. See a little bit of it. And here's the one here. Not that we need to do all of them because they're going to be separate, but I'm going to do all of them. <laughs> oh, my. Four there. Maybe three there. Oh, look how good I'm getting at guessing where the hell I'm doing this. <laughs> all right. Okay, so let's do just some marks. Um, and it can't be too precise because I cannot see what's happening. So I'm just going to run some down here. A little bit tighter together in that blank spot. Oh, that's cool. See, for those of us, I'm going to do some little dashes here. I don't know. This is not letting me drag. There we go. <laughs> so I'm just looking for where I think a little, a little bit of glitz might help it in between pieces. That's right against the background. All right, down this little strip here, I'm going to make little dashes this, this way. All right, see the little dash lines? can live with that. Let's do a couple little something in this dark spot here. All right. I'm holding it up to see what I'm looking at here. Let's do a little bit. Let's see if I can pull this off. Do a little bit of script down there. Oh, 
M.M. Walter. Hello. Better late than never indeed, my friend. All right, let's just throw a little something, something right in there because it's kind of bland. Now I'm just making scribbles. And here I'm just going to make a little, right up against this edge, a little row of dashes right there. This little dark bit right there seems like it needs a little, little thump thump. Dashes to break up that bland color there. Okay. All right. Let's put that down. Back away. Oh, geez. Back away from the gold foil. And now, this is something I usually do on these. Okay, I'm going to make this kind of flatten it out a little bit. Now let me zoom back out. And I'm going to put some of this gold. I hope I have enough of this. Oop. That might be it. Of course, I tried to make it this size and I'm not even close. <laughs> That's okay. And now we're just going to start slapping some gold circles on here all over the place. Intersecting off the page. Gonna look crazy. Trust me when I tell you. Intersect every one so that it's some overlapping. Might have just enough paint. Come on, couple more, baby. Work with me. I could probably get more paint out of the bottle, really, but I think we got enough here. All right, now I'm just looking to see if there's any big gaps. I'm trying to put a little, little mark where I think it needs one. Like right there, that could have a little intersecting little tidbit on it. All right. Okie dokie. Now, get out the old heat gun and dry this and then cut her up. Heat gun. Oh, I didn't do splats. I don't know if I need it. 
I don't think I need it. I think there's enough busy on there. We'll see. I can always add it later. Yeah, the little circles, they, I mean, it looks too busy, but when you cut her up, it won't be bad. See, you can just see the little sparkly bits of that background. There's not much of that background left that we started with. Kayla say she fell, broke a rib, and had cataract surgery in two weeks. I can't top that. I almost fell laughing at Gail fall and breaking her rib, and then I had toe surgery. All right, now let me see where I am. Where am I? I'm wondering if I should put some of my little black pops of paint, you know, those little rectangles I do with that 15 millimeter, uh, what you call it? Of course, sometimes when I, well, almost all the time, I come back with um, black or white or metallic um, tulip 3D paint and uh, you know do random stripes just flinging it everywhere let me see if I can show you like here's pieces of previous ones that I did that one got a, almost a whole circle but see the, the 3D lines on there are the black Right, there's more. And there you can see I used that paper with those real fiber circles in there. All right, All right so those are some of the other ones. So there you go. Now, cut this bad boy up. Oh, Lordy. Okay, so now, hopefully I don't hose this up. <laughs> One can hope. Oh, my God. So, since the orientation is kind of this away, technical term, you know, the script lines go like this, vertical, kind of readable like that. So I want to take the cards. I'm going to go to three and a half inches down this way and cut a strip. All right? Three and a half. All right, here we go. Am I thinking that right? Yeah, three and a half long. There we go. Now let's do another one, three and a half long. Oops, let me put this up here. Three and a half. Three and a half. Right. And three and a half. And then this one, I ended up, I end up with a little bit extra. So this is like four and a quarter. So I end up with what, like three quarters of an inch 
So then I look at this and decide where do I want to lose it? Do I want to lose the top little bit or do I want to lose the bottom little bit? And actually, I think I'm going to take a little bit off the bottom and then take the rest of it off the top because I like both of them. So I'm going to split the difference and do this little strip off of here and then three and a half. Right? And that little strip off of there. Now... Patty, have you ever used a pencil eraser for making gold dot? No, I've never done that, Janine. I've seen it done, but I never, I'm not smart enough to think about it when I, time to do it. <laughs> so now each one of these, there's going to be a little bit of something that's left over so I can pick the side. So like, see this card here, two and a half. So that's going to be what that card looks like, right? It's almost all that gold piece. So I could, and this, this one's kind of a little bit more interesting. So I can, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take two and a half and call that one card. And what, what's next? Two and a half there. And that one's going to be pretty interesting. Let's do that. Two and a half. There. So this one, I can lose some of this, right? And it not be too much of a crime, right? So I'm going to go two and a half. And whatever I lose of that gold, I lose. But I still have more of the interesting bit on it, right? Night mess. Sorry, I don't know your name. Maybe you are a mess. I don't know. I mean that in a good way. Okay. Let's get these bad boys cut up. Let's see. I like this side. Two and a half. Two and a half. Oh. Two and a half. I think I'll keep this script and lose this side on this one. But see how like parts of circles come out? I'll line them up so you can see them. However, here, look, the whole thing came out. Random. Thanks, Jerry. All right, let's see. This one looks kind of cute. Cute, cute. Yeah, I like this one. Two and a half. It's going to have those pictographs with the stripes. See what I mean? How you get such random little bits, you know? It's always a surprise. Now, I think I'm going to lose this side because I like this little bit going on there. So we'll go there. Okay. Now we'll lay them out so you can see what we got. Watch this for my next trick. <laughs> oh my. Mm. 
Okay. And it's really hard to remember which way is up and which way is down, although it doesn't really matter. Although that one I can tell with that stamp. And the script. I like that one. Not looking at chat right at the moment. So then usually this would be one big piece, but I cut off a little bit of top and bottom. So we got those bits. Oh, how did I put the other ones? I check them. Oh yeah, I got tangled up in my other paper here. So that's what I got. So here, I mean, you know, here you can see that little stamp on the very bottom, that that um, wooden stamp I put on there. Those of you who were at the beginning, you see the background, this green background and all the layers, but it looks a little more interesting. Let's see. This one I really like. And a little bit of this patina circle, this jelly print, this black and gold. And this one, I do like this one, even though it's got that whole circle there. How it's interrupted by that black stripe and the black tape on there. It's funny, those rings around those circles make it look like Saturn. <laughs> Here's another one. I like this one. But then what I do, I do like that black washi tape in there. It's a good pop of black. A good little pop of. See all the little bits and stuff that are on there? But now what I do is I take this big Molotow marker. It's the 15. Thanks, Joan. Thanks, Kat. Um... It's got the 15 millimeter nib. And this sometimes I do this and make little black marks on some of them where I think they're kind of blah. But for now, what I'm going to do is I just edge these with this. And see where that kind of like puts a little frame around it? does it might be subtle but it does really add something to it if you see them in person so i just do that bye susan oh thanks andrea I like this paper. I wish I'd have put more of that that uh, paper in there with that font in it. It's really um, like down this one here. You can really see it. Probably not. You're probably not zoomed in enough now. I'll do that. This is part of that paper too. That's a good one example of different layers. See the, the green background and then the pictograph stamp, then the paper tape, the black washi, the gold stamp, the gold foil, the gold rings all over it. I really like this one.
Night, Dot. <laughs> I know it's late. It's late for you guys. Joan, if you're, I know you got to be exhausted. Don't feel like you ever have to stay up late. Of course, I'd love to have you, but don't feel like you have to. Gayla, you have to. <laughs> Your rib's halfway healed, and you can see now, so you can stay. <laughs> Here you can really see that background with the gold, a little bit of gold in there, that um, ice, 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 baby. Here's one with a lot of the gold in the background, too. Of course, my fingers are right over it. See if what I mean about if you don't make them overly busy, some would end up just with like, you know, a couple things on it. Nine thirty. Oh. My poor husband. I told him I was gonna come up around nine. I'll be ready for bed by the time I get up there. Gotta get up at four ten. But he's off next week. He works, him and his crew work the rest of this week, and then the other team. We're going to try it every other week. I don't know how that's going to keep people safe, but we can't really shut down what they do, so. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> oh, shit. Look what I just did. Ah! And I was just getting ready to say this one's really cool because it's so light with a little bit of black stark pops on it. And then what I do? Ah. Oh, well. One more. It was intentional. <laughs> Boom. There you have it. All right, kids. Thanks for hanging. Hope this gave you a little, little bit of time of distraction with all this crazy world happening outside. Appreciate you hanging with me, and I'm going to try to stream more while I'm working at home and really, you know, can't be going out to dinner and doing other stuff that we would normally do with friends during the week. So, you guys will be stuck with me. <laughs> anyway, all right, I will, oh, I still have this. I don't know, do I need something else? I feel like I need some black scripting down here. I might do that later. My brain's getting tired. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging in. Catch you next time. Maybe sooner than you think, so stay tuned. <laughs> Have a good night. Stay healthy.